What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, hope you're all doing great and welcome back to another update on Dogecoin, a little bit more of a bearish update. A lot of people are, are feared. Well, uh, those who followed my analysis are, are not afraid of, of these moves. Um, we were a little bit more bearish with Dogecoin, but it's, it's definitely not the end of Dogecoin. Uh, what I've been saying for the upcoming or for the last uh, few days is that Dogecoin still has a huge, huge amount of support levels technically under it under the price under the current price um, and apart from that yeah sure i mean this whole move was because of was because of hype was because of news all right if if the hype dies down if there's no more news you're not going to go up all right so so just fundamentally and technically this was expected um you can also see here uh, yesterday i said that we would probably hold this level around 12 and a half cents for a little bit longer because it's a strong support level and because dogecoin has an amazing community i mean here here you all are again um, we can actually hold those support levels quite a while, for, for, for quite a long time. That's always what you see with cryptos that have a huge and strong community, is that you can hold uh, levels that are higher up, because this is, this is pretty high if you compare that to the last months for Dogecoin. Um, it can hold those levels for a longer period of time. Definitely now, obviously, when we have a huge potential for, for amazing news coming from, from uh, Twitter's uh, or Elon Musk's Twitter uh, acquisition. Um, so yeah, I, I thought we would drop down to this level here, uh, 11 and a half cents, which is the, the upper level of this uh, major key level between 11 and a half cents and 10 and a half cents, I, I would argue, uh, even though I haven't drawn that, that all the way down, but you kind of have two levels. You kind of have 11 and a half cents, then you have 11 cents uh, and, and some minor support at 10 and a half, but it's, it's really 11 and 11 and a half. So right now we, we 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 have dropped down to that level we still haven't touched that 200 ema so we're dropping down there now i think we can actually hold this for for a little bit longer um and as i said if we don't get any more news if we don't get any more hype we're just going to drop down to towards 11 cents um and apart from that i must say that um that yesterday would there I, I believe or at least I'm, I'm, i haven't seen the primary source so i'm not sure if it's 100 percent true um I must say that so so don't just uh, don't just believe me but maybe do some research i, I tried to research it but I, as i said i couldn't find the primary source uh, but there was some news about uh, twitter quitting its uh, crypto wallet uh, project um which could be considered bearish because because it's it seems like they're they're not doing uh, more with crypto but it's not necessarily that i mean i don't think a crypto wallet might not have been a, an, an amazing move right i mean why would you make a crypto wallet if you have metamask for example which you could easily uh, connect to twitter um so yeah that, that was maybe a little bit bearish fundamentally uh, and in the end it's all about the fundamentals for dogecoin but uh, still as i said i think we'll just consolidate on top of 11 and a half cents um for at least like the next few days if nothing happens we'll drop down to 11 cents and then we can hold that then if, if really nothing happens uh, with the whole Twitter acquisition and, and life goes on, uh, what will happen is, is the volume will continue to, to decrease. The volume has been decreasing for the last week, as you can see, it will continue to decrease. And, uh, and, and what happens is then the momentum dies down and then in the end, if really nothing happens, we'll drop down all the way down to nine cents again. Um, but that's not something you should be scared of uh, uh, for uh, as of now, I think. I, I think now we still have, have uh, huge support levels under us as i said and i still think we got um, a lot of potential to get some great news or some great fundamentals i mean definitely also with the whole um, paid verify check uh, there's just a huge potential to, to say something about being paid in doge and stuff and those are really the things we we look for and if that happens almost forgot to mention it if that happens we'll, we'll break above 13 and a half cents and, and we'll easily uh, and immediately get up to 16 and a half cents which would be my first price target in, in the case of, of an event like that. But we can definitely get higher towards 17 and a half and 18 cents as well. Um, so I wouldn't give up hope yet. Uh, buying it is something different. That, that's your decision. Uh, but for now, that's my take on Dogecoin for today. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for, for now, have a great day and uh, see you all later. Bye.